situated on the edge of the Persian Gulf, lies the Sheikhdom of Abu Dhabi. It's the largest and richest of seven states that unified in 1971 to form the United Arab Emirates. Abu Dhabi is undergoing one of the biggest makeovers of modern times. Its ruler, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, wants to join the City Super League. And he's spending over $200 billion to transform his capital into a world-class business and tourist destination. He's already spent a reputed $3 billion creating the most expensive hotel ever built. The Emirates Palace boasts 114 gold domes and is the height of luxury, where rooms cost up to $12,000 a night. And that's not all. He's built one of the largest and most opulent mosques on earth. Capable of accommodating 40,000 worshippers, the Grand Mosque boasts the largest carpet on the planet and the world's biggest gem-encrusted chandelier. But even these structures have not quenched his thirst for the extraordinary. Now, the Sheikh wants a building so spectacular, it will instantly become an international symbol for Abu Dhabi. The man appointed with the task of delivering this architectural icon is the Sheikh's cousin, His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Tafnun Al Nayyan. Architecturally, it will be a unique building. Positioning Abu Dhabi as one of the cultural hubs around the world and architecture is part of that uh, overall uh, inspiration and art. It's a tough challenge. This is a land where extreme engineering is the norm. Neighboring Emirate Dubai has already built the world's tallest skyscraper, the 828 meter high Burj Khalifa and an iconic luxury hotel, the Burj Al Arab. Sheikh Sultan signs up a team of architects and gives them a clear brief, not to go bigger or taller, but to challenge the rules of architecture. For Neil van der Veen, one of the concept architects, 